those of y'all on YouTube, welcome. We are here in the uh, seasonal tournament. I forgot to hit the whole record button for those of y'all on YouTube. We're in the five minute section right now where we are writing down the uh, different decks that we are playing against. Um, so this is round number one. Um, three standalone. I know this is kind of a weird part to just kind of join. My bad, my bad. I forgot to hit the record button. It's been a week for me. I had some terrible weather problems over the last week. Um, I'll have there's a Google document down below if you didn't see it. I'll put that in the YouTube comments uh, for you to see. So this this is what we're playing. We're playing Aphelios, um, Lux, and Twisted Fate Gangplank and Heimer Ezreal. We're gonna see how they go. I think I'm going to be banning the Overwhelmed deck over here. We're going to face the other two, so we're going to face this. So we're going to face that that deck, and then we're going to face this one here. So we're going to have three Blade Squire. So I'm, I'm currently in the five minutes where I have to write these down, so going kind of fast. Um, crack Shot, Corsair, three Jagged Butcher, three Legion Saboteur. I probably don't have to be writing down every single... I probably could just write like Saboteur and shorten these up a little bit. But maybe not. Okay, a couple higher gun. So I have not played over the last week. I don't really have much practice with the decks that we're playing. Um, but we're here. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We are, um, you know, we're going to just try our best. And we're going to see what happens. Only one jack. And only one Farron. I like I like both of the that. Those two cards are both very scary. What's up, Cabo? Thank you. Thanks for uh, doing that. Okay, we're gonna be on this one. No Aphelios Lux for me. Okay, um, let's start with. I'm gonna start with this Heimer Ezreal. I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit more with Heimer Ezreal. <clears throat> Kordak just gave me this this uh, Twisted Fate Gangplank deck to play. It's similar to theirs. It's a little bit bigger with Twisted Fate. Um, I haven't played that deck at all yet. This will be our first time. So while we're not really that prepared for the seasonal tournament, we're feeling good. We're excited. We're going to have some fun. Okay, all in Fiora. So they are all in with Fiora. Fiora's the only unit. I definitely don't want Ezreal. Um, I guess I could take Heimer. I don't even know if I want Heimer. Or maybe don't. Actually, I probably don't. All right, well, not a big fan of this Avrozen Sentry, or really just how we've drawn. They're out there. I'll spot them. Safeguard our homes. Uh, looks like my so my my uh, decks kind of. There we go. Cover up that tournament timer. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. All right, so they just naturally have that one. We can pretty much assume they're going to have something to stop this Aftershock, but does that mean I don't cast it? No, I probably still cast it. Okay, one Elixir of Iron, one Fiora. Just kind of marking down cards they played. Wow, we did not draw... <laughs> After I, I mulliganed three cards, and so we've drawn six cards, seven cards, because that one. So we've drawn seven cards since our opener, and we've drawn zero removal spells in seven cards. It's not great. Not great. Nothing to hold me back? Fight the 
the signal fires. Yeah, that's not great. This game is not going according to plan. Stop drawing these like these units are useless. Um Gosh, normally I'd just kind of sit back, but Okay, so they have they have their fight spells. They had they do have the six fight spells. Which I was hoping I was you know, definitely hoping that they would not have a fight spell. I guess they have eight, because they have two concerted strikes also. Alright, looks like we're gonna be relying on the pirate deck to win both matchups. Or wait. No no no, I guess. I always kind of forget how this tournament thing works. So that if they win this, it's just this deck's done. I just need both of my decks need to defeat the Misfortune Gangplank deck. Yeah. Very good draw for them and very terrible draw for me. Really not what I wanted at all. The Harsh Winds is a good card. It's our first our first good card that we've drawn in this game is the Harsh Winds. Yeah, so they're playing three single combat and three strafing strike, so possible that how they're sitting there thinking that maybe it's a strafing strike. I have no time for fools. Yeah, this looks looks like this is over. That was a terrible game. That was a terrible game. Let's get a practice in. If we're not going to win this round, I need to get practice in with this deck that I haven't played before. Let's try this out. I'm keeping the one drop, two drop, and I think I'm actually, I think we're going to keep Gangplank as well, considering we already have like a turn one, turn two, um, with our draws, we're probably going to find things to be doing on turn three, turn four, um, Gangplank is just a really strong five, I want to keep that as well. If I didn't have, if I, if I didn't already have a turn one and turn two planned, I wouldn't be keeping Gangplank, but I am keeping it because I already have the turn one and turn two planned. All right, well, now this is just kind of a perfect curve. Like I said, that we would find things to do on turn three and turn four. Because, like, if they have, like, their own gangplank, I'm going to want mine to answer theirs or, you know, like, I, I have the attack token on turn five also, which is, like, really nice of playing this and pressuring them. Like, a five-five, like, I don't know. Five-five is just really big, and I think the gangplank um, puts a, can just do a whole lot, basically. I think it's I think it's a very good card, and... In, in this matchup. It's it's the biggest card, right? Like, there's not really bigger cards until, like, eight mana with Captain Farron. Um, so I think it's important to have the biggest card. So now we got two options. I think I'm just going to go with this Demolitionist. Because, like, this 2-2 is going to die anyway to the higher gun. And I can't really stop that. So I might as well... Well, let's see. I guess if I use Demolitionist, then they could kill it with the Crackshot Corsair. And is that bad for me? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's bad for me. I think that's better than, than them just getting a free kill with a higher gun anyway, so I'll just let that happen. So <clears throat> we get a uh, Gangplank level up. At least part of one. There's three. Looking for trouble. It found you. I mean I kinda wanna have the mana for Death Sand up, but I guess I just play this. So I kind of want to like death hand the the misfortune and, and twisted fate red card. Um, but if I if I just pass there and keep my mana for death hand, they probably open attack. In which case, I'm I don't know I don't I don't love that. I could still red card, and I'm not sure. I don't know. The problem, like, I mean, it's not a problem, but I, I don't, I also have no idea what to do with this, this turn. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this turn at all. The thing is, is I, I kind of want to, like, wait, like, have, like, Powder Keg from Gangplank and then Red Card with Powder Keg. If I could try to set that up somehow, that'd be a few turns down the line. That means I'd probably be playing, you know, like, your Ballista, Spray Fin, like, that kind of stuff for a little bit first. I have... I don't really like the play I just did. I don't really like any play. Or I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Ahmed, I really appreciate that Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Thanks for that support. I, I really appreciate that. Already our fifth sub of the day. Yeah, I'm, I'm uploading this to YouTube. Absolutely. Funny the hand lock deals you, don't you think? It's a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. Hey, Gamma. I never resist. Ain't no small in power. I should probably know the deck that I'm playing. I don't know. I don't know what my spray fin targets are. I, I, there's Ravenous Flock. It looks like we have Death's Hand. I don't know. I don't know if we have Fervor or Cooling Strike or. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even really know the deck I'm playing that well. I guess I should know that with spray fin. But I know there's three Ravenous Flock. That's that's all I know. And then and there's at least one Death's Hand. So we have three Ravenous Flock. How many how many Death's Hand? Okay, there's three Death's Hands. Okay, so we have three Ravenous Flock and three Death's Hand, and those are two. Targets for spray fin. Zero four thirty. Thanks. Glad to be back. See, that's why I kept gangplank. You know, that wasn't that wasn't a very great gangplank for me. But look at what the gangplank did. It took out. It took out two units. Right. It took out a crackshot corsair and a. Um, and you know, and a three-three took out both of those, and it dealt a little bit of overwhelm damage to them, and it also took out the Noxion fervor. It it took out a whole lot of things, all by itself. All by itself for just one card. Can't really ask a card to do more than that. Looks like they have another fervor. They're only spell. They they only have fervor and decimate as spells. So that that's obviously an auction fervor. Like that. So this card right here is an auction fervor. There they have fervor and decimate are their two spells. You can't put a slow decimate in front. Um, so we know that this is a fervor. So what they're considering is you know maybe taking out my twisted fate, dealing damage to me, taking out my grenadier. I really like the position that we're in right now. I think that the I think the only way my opponent's winning is like you know gangplank and uh, Farron probably definitely has to involve Farron I would think I like the position that we're in. Victory at any cost. Captain's orders. Oh, 
sure about that? I like them only attacking here. Not with this. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I don't know what else you're doing, Flock, so. Just go ahead and block that. It is Farron. They, they only play one Farron. Was the only card that mattered. Let's go with the Sentry. So I'm thinking I'd go Sentry so I can go with the Grenadier also. But, oh yeah, we'll just do that. I was going to say, like, it's probably better to play the Twisted Fate right now so that... But Twisted Fate's not going to level up, so whatever. It doesn't matter. Game's over. All right, so can our um, Heimer Ezreal deck beat this pirate deck now? Game three. The two loser decks v each other. It's going to be a little tough. This avalanche could be pretty big that I just put this avalanche in the deck. I took out a harsh winds for an avalanche right before this. That could be pretty big. And obviously these two, Kindly Tavern Keeper... Would be nice. Oh yeah, definitely Molheimers. Yeah, Sentry, Trapper. I'm gonna be looking for those. Okay. I think we're keeping the rest of these. They do have Blade Blade Squire. And Legion Saboteur for one mana, two ones. That if Thermogenic Beam could kill one drop. They have 12 one drops. Blade Squire, Crack Shot Corsair, Jagged Butcher, Legion Saboteur. Good Ezreal draw. No one's the wiser. So they'll act on turn two first. We can kind of see what we do. I don't think it's... It's not just automatically throw down sentry on turn two. I, have my orders. Um, I think I do throw down sentry against that thing, though. Nothing escapes my I could save a life by mystic shotting it. Explosives primed. Everything's in place. Look out for reavers! The triple triple legion saboteur <laughs> that card's gone yeah i mean i'm just gonna play ezreal like ezreal just blocks this thing and then it also starts getting my improbulator up And that's the thing about saving Mystic Shot, is it it helps against open attacks. I never miss. So still three mana left. Only two cards. You know, Blade, Blade Squire, Crackshot Corsair, Jagged Butcher, Hired Gun, Imperial Demolitionist, Legion Grenadier, Iron Ballista, the Lounging Lizard, Misfortune. Most of their deck could still be played. So I think... I think I kind of want a double spell here, whether it's Mystic Shot plus Troll Chant, or just getting this Improbulator. I think I think this is my line is Improbulator, I know so I get so I get a blocker. Stuff, but could you maybe speed the thing is, I'm not sure which one of these to kill. Whether I want to kill the Grenadier or the Corsair. I guess it's the Corsair. No, because then I kill that later. 
Mm. 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 Yeah. We'll go Corsair. Uh, Ezreal's now at two. Maybe it was the demolitionist. You're between me and glory. You look guilty. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Please do not have Gangplank or Jack the Winner. Neither the flames nor the depths can plague me. That hurts. That hurts. Why do you say kill Gangplank? I mean, how how do you expect me to kill Gangplank? So I think I think I have to aftershock the Gangplank here, and then so that whenever if they open attack, I can Mystic Shot and kill it. Okay, yeah, you thought I had six mana. It's unfortunate because I just waste a Mystic Shot, but I think that's what I have to do. Can we stop drawing <laughs> these things? We're we're pretty pretty bad at drawing with this deck. At least we started with a good hand, but our last few draws have been not so great. This doesn't look so great for me. They had a very good hand. You know, double spell on turn two, double spell on turn three, double spell on turn four, and then, uh, you know, big gangplank on turn five. I felt good about it until the, the big gangplank. Okay, so we're going to have to... I'm thinking this. That the aftershock can go either towards Grenadier or Higher Gun. I'm thinking this. Um I guess this does an extra point of damage to me. I guess it maybe it is Grenadier. The thing is, is like, you know, Sentry, Heimerdinger, like these will match up better against Grenadier. If I if I because if I do this, then they They have like their 2-1 challenge here, and they get three damage in with the Blade Squire to put me down to six. And then, you know, with the Blade Squire still dying, is like down to five. That's That means I'm just dead to... Yes, yeah, so it's got to be... So I guess I got to do this, because then I challenge here, and I, I take an, one less point of damage. Yeah, it's got to be this. I guess I didn't think too much of, of the the triple twos. If I would have gone with triple twos. Yeah, actually maybe triple twos twos was the way to go. I would just play sentry. These old eyes still see far and clear. I rarely forget and never forget. That's very bad. In Avarosa's name. That's the the worst possible card we could see. Uh, this is only doing one and getting a one drop. Answers. I have them. Oh come on, really? Man, their hand was incredible. We gotta get an 8-8. But still. We need we need Kindly Tavern Keepers. Okay, well there's one Tavern Keeper. I could've used another, like a one mana troll chant. That would've been nice. Or, you know, like a one mana spell to be able to play here. Jeez. 
yeah, I, if I, if we had a one-mana troll chant, we could have saved, you know, we would have saved four life. We would have stayed at six with a troll chant also. That was, yep, yeah, amazing hand for them. I don't think I, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I could have done something differently on the turn six if I would have triple twoed. Maybe we could have done something better. Yeah, Grenadier was the card in hand, so was there was there last no 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 they had Gangplank in hand, I think, right? The second Gangplank or no? Maybe their two draws were Gangplank and I don't know. Anyway. Doesn't really matter. So I don't think I played I don't think I played either of those games with that deck. Those two games I lost. I don't think I made the best decisions. But that's that's what's gonna happen whenever you're real rusty, or you know, just take a week off between playing games. Oh well. All right, so we lost round one. So we have effectively been eliminated from winning the tournament. Uh, you have to win all five rounds in order to do that. I I don't think either of my matchups were bad. I uh, I think I didn't play either one perfectly. The first, you know, the first one against the Fiora deck, I I did draw terribly, but I also didn't play that well. I think I, I think I need to be more patient and not play units out, um, really at all, and things like that. But I don't I don't know if I could have won that game on. I, I don't know if I could have won that. But I think that last game, like the the turn six, I was worried about. I don't know. I guess I was I was just focused on on uh casting the mystic shot so I, I was like so they had they had like the different units out and my ezreal had vulnerable so i was worried about them like putting the you know having that the gangplank challenge the ezreal and then i'd have to mystic shot after blockers and then i wouldn't be able to block one of those other things and they'd have like a whole lot of attackers be able to get through that's what i was worried about so if i if i and so I was kind of focused on the line of using the Mystic Shot before attackers. They couldn't do that, so my Ezreal was at least going to block something. But if I would have done the line of the of the three two mana cards with Troll Chant and Mystic Shot and Averroes and Sentry, I would have played Averroes and Sentry, and then they would have attacked, and they would have had the 5-2 challenge the Ezreal, and uh, then I would have had my Sentry block uh, Legion Grenadier, I would have Mystic Shot, the Gangplank, and then we could use Troll Chant and make their 2-3 have zero power. So I still would have taken three damage if I would have done that. But my Ezreal would have been a 1-3. It would have stayed alive as a 1-3. And I would have taken three damage. And they would have uh, you know, the 2-3 and the 2-1 left. The Hired, gu hired Gun and Blade Squire. They would have those two cards left. Yep. I think that was the line I had to do. That would have helped. I, I, I don't know if we still win that, though. Because then, you know, then I'm d done with the Troll Champ, but I think that was the line I had to do and just, you know, go from there and see what would happen. But just really great hand for them, right? Like, they had, um, you know, turn one Saboteur, turn two, two more Saboteurs. Turn three, they double spelled again. I think, I think it was Grenadier plus Blade Squire. I think, and turn four, they double spelled again. I think it was what Crackshot Corsair and Hired Gun. I believe, um, but you know they they double spelled those two turns, and then Gangplank on five. Um, you know either another Gangplank on either six or seven. I don't remember which one. And then they had their one of Captain Farron, like. You know, like they only played one Captain Farron in that deck, and that was like really the only one card. Like I felt really good about that game, even with that second Gangplank. You know, even like the first Gangplank hurt a lot, but I was still like, okay, we can still handle this. And the second Gangplank, still okay. You know that that really hurts, but we can still handle this. But yeah, they had so they had that perfect curve out plus that their one of top uh, Captain Farron top deck that right on turn eight. They drew that right that turn. That's how that's how you um, that's how you uh, win games. You know, have perfect curve outs and good top decks. So, 
GG's. I had I had a great curve out like that hand. I can't I can't complain about my hand at all. Like my first four, five, six cards were awesome. We did draw pretty poorly in the late in the like in the mid game. I was drawing Heimerdingers and Avros and Sentries, cards that I really just didn't need. You know that you just want to keep keep on having um, interaction and kindly Tavern Keeper and stuff like that. And that's how it goes. All right, so our round one is over. So it looks like we have another 34 minutes until round two. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, um, sorry for being gone for a week. As I mentioned before, we had the bad winter storm, um, but that's that's gone. We're we're back at it. I'm I'm good now. Um, you know, hopefully I'll just keep on the keep the YouTube video um, uploads coming and everything. And now get time to get back to work. You know, after that vacation, um, yeah, time to get back to work. So. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we'll uh, do better in the next few rounds. I'll make sure to post those too. But yeah, thanks thanks for watching round one, and I'll see you for the next video. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. We are back. We are about to start round number two. Had a disappointing round number one, um, but you know, that's, that's how it goes. But let's see how we can do for round number two. We can still get a 4-1. We can still do that. We, we want to at least try to go three and two, because at three and two, we get the card back. But here we are. All right, we are ready. Let's see what we got. What are we playing against this time? All right, Fiora Shen, Twisted Fate Fizz, and Zoe Lee Sin. So much, much more regular kind of tier one decks, I would say, than what we played against before. I think that I am leaning towards, out of these three, just kind of banning Fiora Shen. I think Fiora Shen, I think very, very highly of Fiora Shen. It's, an, it's, a, it's the kind of deck that I just never really want to face, kind of ever with anything. Um, Fiora Shen's pretty amazing. So let's see. So um, I'm going to start writing this one down. We just got a sub. Boot with the resub. Thank you, Boot. Thank you, Boot. I appreciate that. No, I don't really do screenshot stuff. I like I like writing stuff down because you kind of you remember stuff more whenever you write it down than if you, if I just take a picture, I won't really know what anything is and just kind of look at it. You know, like you you learn more whenever you write things down. I, um, I prefer writing it down, and plus writing it down, I can I get to so how I write these down is I I do write down like how many they have and the different. Type, and I have two columns. I have one column for spells, one column for units. So it it makes it kind of easy how I can kind of see like the curve of like their spells and their units. And so whenever I'm looking to see if they have like a specific spell, I can you know check over the spell column. What are they going to do with their units? Instead of just like everything being kind of together, and then I'm like looking for some. I I think that writing down is much better than screenshot. But that's a per personal preference. Everybody's different. Or more sp more spells than I was kind of expecting originally. I guess I guess the end of the deck here is the three twist of eight, three spray fin, three burble fish. Lots of three ofs. And all three suit ups. Okay. And then yeah, I think I have to try to I think I'm gonna play against this deck. Alright, so what do we have? So we have two spell thief. That card's great. Okay, all three copies of Hush. Okay, I haven't seen... Or I've, I've seen people trimming on, like, Concussive Palm. I, at least I thought they were. So no Bastion, just Deny. Like, Deny, Nopify. Okay. My opponent has forfeited the match. Well, how about that? Okay, so that's that's round two, I guess. Um, this is <laughs> this is a yeah. I guess so. My opponent lost the round one and then just kind of left. And so yeah, they still got paired for round two, but they weren't here. You have to click the ready within the five minutes. They did not click the ready within the five minutes. They were not here, so they forfeit the match. So we won. Round number two. This did happen with us last tournament also. Round number four. Um, that one went like that too. All right. Well, those of y'all on YouTube, thanks for watching. Round number two. 
that. <laughs> I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I guess we would have, you know, who knows what would have happened. I assume that we would have just won all three games, 3-0. You know, even even we would have won, like, the first one and the second one. They would have taken the deck that we, because we would have won them so much, so uh, easily, they would have taken the deck that, that they banned, and they're like, you know what, just try to win with this one too, and we would have won with that one also. So we would have won 3-0. That's what was going to happen. I mean, it's just undeniable that that was, um, you know, there's no really other result that could have happened. So anyway, uh, that's it here for round two. <laughs> easy, easy 3-0 win. It wasn't even close. <laughs> anyway, those of y'all on YouTube, uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.